ability already expended at the moment for the attack. To not get into this A site could be a big problem. Oh, that it could! Magnum! He's coming in and taking kill as out. Back down to a three versus four. It's a little bit more doable. A Hulk to the back site, gonna blind up and confirm there's players here, but where exactly? They'll never know, or maybe they will. Starzo! It's one on the side, another flash out, a blind, and Mystic through the wall he goes. And, well, the no scope will connect. <gasps> Oh, the spray is really nice as well. Starzo on long, good flash, all blinded. He can't get his weapon out in time, so in a little bit of hot water, but in the scene, Ed will have to take his shot. He was expecting a peek, but he's still been able to hold the control. It won't matter, though. The entry goes Fnatic's way. Oh, a follow-up, too. With Starzo falling, man advantage is theirs, and the plant soon to come in. Uh, be curious who they give it to, I think. That's Magnum planting, indeed, so... Building up towards the Seekers, they know they shouldn't need it for that showstopper. They've managed to seize control over Bathroom and get the ult online boaster, the first to take a kill. Here go! Oh, Cned! He's out of there! I feel like I'm in a frag movie! Oh. The way we just teleported! But not landing, not even firing. And Durka, he's behind enemy lines. Killez is Killed. And he knows exactly where Cned is! What a shot by Durka! Spike planted. What was that school called again? I feel like I'm, I'm gonna start taking some extra classes. Stark, so... Left to try and clutch us out. Well, that's the Viper's Pit dissipated, but he's got to be careful. There's a man behind him. Boaster knows, though, that the risk being taken of this fight would not be worth it. But he snuck his way all the way through. Durka almost just selling this as a fake that there's nobody here. There should be no chance for Stark, so... But he actually gets all the way back in. Durka just going to start backing away, wasting his time, and the knowledge of Boaster's position is completely unknown. They're in the hands of CNET. Already managed to pick off one the other round that they pushed up on a... Now he looks for more, but no, he's shut down this good position by Bone Cold, checked as well, but he still walks away with two. No 3k this time, as Cold Demand is in trouble on the back side. They pull it back. The lead, not quite theirs, but the spike plant is. Seekers coming through to give the information away. They know that this is a pivotal round. They're going to make things very awkward. In fact, Starks already picks off Magnum. It leaves Durka, the raid boss. The hero of the last couple, bringing them home the clutches. And he's going to be able to tag up the first, but it's almost used as bait. He'll take out Starkso instead, however. Leaving it into a 1v1 again. He's going to try and find the info just behind him. Killers is close and he knows it, but he's not yet on that spike. Trying to bait out the peak, but he's oh! playing with his food. Well, we're watching it from the top rope as well. As a counter play comes in, the Viper ultimate and caught in the open. Mystic's down. I'd love to see some action from their perspective, but we don't get to. As an ultimate comes into play, and it looks like we're all down to Durka. He's stuck inside of Hookah, and, uh, well, I don't know what he can do. Because jumping outside of that ultimate is just going to be the easiest kill that they've ever found. Although he's killed Bone Cold, that defuse can come on through. Maybe not! The shock dart to CNET, he couldn't see it coming. Rez comes into play, and Durka, somewhere on screen, I presume, is trying to take that fight. He's got Cold Dementa. I'd really love to see that from his perspective, because he's got a 4K and clutched out the Rez. Realistically, just double the contract. Doma already going to be entering into the site. This is such a fast round. We were watching the replay, and they've just gone pushing back in. Coming back in, CNET still has his operator, so maybe he can pick one on the cross. Instead, Magnum is holding. And already, they're looking to try and clear out anybody on the rotation. Durka using that Hunter's Fury, but that's not the main problem, Mitch. Oh, the main problem is always going to be CNED realistically. That plant coming through, and so is CNED getting up close and personal. Flash goes in, doesn't see anybody at all protecting them in a way. Down goes Boaster on the fallback, but Mystic has still got his orb in place and still got snake bites, one of which coming over now. Magnum wants to be the one to peek out and take down CNED. He's going to do exactly that. The fade back not possible. Are not possibly possible to be caught on. Two versus two. Another snake bite in play. Coldamenta almost loses his life trying to stick that. They're going to break that wall knowing now their post plant utility is gone. They need to take the fights this time. But Magnum has snuck around the side and he's good for the kill. Running away to buy them time. Needs to get the reload on. And this should be absolutely impossible for Coldamenta to win. Look at his HP. Magnum even knows he's not sticking it. It's done. An eight to four. Had them read like a book. That plant's gonna come in. At least it seems like it. Indeed it does. But Mystic and Doma have something to say about it. Utility coming in huge for those openings. The man advantage is theirs. Kill has low HP, but Starzo doing his best to pull it back from the side. 
He's stuck inside the smoke now, all alone. Flash soon to pop out of that smoke. There's a player coming up on the flank from middle. I don't see how he wins this. A quick flash, a quick kill, but quickly dealt with afterwards. That is going to be 9-4 to four and a pistol round that a sent desperate past. And maybe Boaster's going to have a serious point about that raise being picked up. Doma, stuck in the corner. Speaking of the race, he's in a bit of trouble. Oh, no. See that? He didn't get the kill. Now the spray's coming back his way. He's in a bit of trouble. And Magnum pulled at just the right moment. That's Gorney. Follow through for the Ascend side. Managing to pick up the kills for now. Everything going their way. Nicely done. Taking over control of Lamps and a 2v4 comes out of it. A fast play to the A site. It ends up with a big advantage. And for Star or for Magnum, excuse me, and Doma. For Doma. For Ascend. It's a nice round. As <laughs> they take a possibility to extend that control even further is definitely there. Even if a flash come over to help with it. But they don't want to overextend. Versus Sheriffs, you don't make that kind of a play. Oh, on the back, Bone Cold's in a bit of trouble. Shot lands to start it off. He's being pressured. He's being damaged, but looks like they won't fully follow up. And lighting up one player down to 70 HP makes it so much easier for these Sheriffs to come through. Nice ultimate used up. Oh my god, this shot. This is unbelievable. They're going to get in here, Boaster. Oh, easy. Not something we say too regularly. Boaster now feeling very confident, has his teammates alongside him. A very aggressive take, but it's working out for them. The Seekers are going to go out as well, leaving Magnum in this corner, but CNED and Cole. Let's see if he's got that beautiful aim, and yes, he does. Nice shot converted now. Still a snake bite to play with. He can block off a lot of different angles and presumably going to be elbow that he aims to. Durka hearing the steps. Spots the... Oh! He somehow doesn't get away with that. CNED just shows a bit of... Uh, giving him the, the ability to kind of step over and into it, you know, and have that safety to fall back. Orbital strike. Beautiful boaster. Forces both of those fights out. Gets a third as well, but he's got to do even more. The work is never over, and the problem is he's up against a Viper with snake bites on their way. That lineup is perfect. And Boaster, well, he's in trouble. He's actually going to die to it as well. Another, which was grenade through. CNED pushing oh, this ultimate. Going to put him in a pretty good spot now as they push forward. They would have to face into him. The only thing is he's got a Vandal. So spraying through is really risky because they can see those tracers and return fire. The wolf and the tiger spotting out a couple of players towards middle cnet he wants to get aggressive man you just know you can feel his w key i feel like instead of pressing it, he has to hold it up to stop it from working boaster able to catch one comes up behind and they're not ready for that that's a big big Durka, the seeker is going to give them even more but here comes that execution once again uh, fast as they like oh the headshots boaster even connecting one through the wall and another there's no stopping this guy well other than starzo shooting him in the head i guess that'll do the job now left into the advantage for ascend the push forward from dirk it's so fast and it's furious as well magnum looking for the final but he can't the cosmic divide might hurt the mystic can get very close to it and pop his ultimate boaster in trouble he's been spotted and taken down no trades as they were all blinded up Here's where I expect to see that ultimate use from Viper. Close in the distance and get towards that spike. Let's see exactly how Mystic does it. Did he use it already? Player standing. I, I swear he had it online, right? Yeah, he did. I think he used it over on the other side of the map and now is left oh. into a clutch and a one versus three. It is not situation. The full rotation coming in from Fnatic. This was looking like an impossible round, but now they can get into those trusty afterplants. And Mitch, this is where they are deadly. Only one snake bite, but they also have a shock dart to play with. And the snake bite going to be used, I presume, for the same rotation they like to make or just to buy the time, actually, for the players inside of Hookah to set up. But that's fine for Ascend. That's a whole lot less to worry about as they move towards the site. The spray is giving away that they're here. The time's so low. The shock dart surely soon to come in. And indeed, as Bone Cold falls, it's all left on to Joe. Oh my God, what? Number one, we have got a roller coaster ride, it seems, still to come with split up next and a potential ice box for a third. The next one's definitely going to be to be had. They've spotted CNED. They know that he's here, but CNED's wise to this trick. Doma down below, taken out. Magnum up close, drops the spike. Looks for more. As they come out of the smoke, there's a second. Low HP. Flash not even able to depart his hands. But Boaster spotted the edge of the barrel. Did he notice? The player pushing up very, very close. Starzo getting into position and walking right past them. Luckily, 
Not going to be spotted on the way. Boaster blocked off by a wall. They'll open up that control. Indeed, he was actually spotted. Starzo in trouble. That tiger destroyed. The swing is quick and clean. Durka and Mystic, they're a machine. Putting it 14 on the board for Fnatic. Or when you're playing with this kind of a stack, but sometimes it backfires. Mystic, he's actually going to catch almost everybody with the paranoia. One piece of utility, 400 credits, and it won. Mitch, it is the position of the spike, although that was cheeky from Starzo. Yet he manages to make it out of the smoke for a second. Oh, Doma, what was the second shot? But not enough is what... Eric, hello? My boy, going down for the aggressive plays. That's not paid off. I was very ready for a slow round there. But it looks like a sandworm. They are taking up the pace after finding those kills. Top mid's theirs, B side's theirs. The trip are they know where he is. They're ready for the fight. Easy execution, you'd imagine. You're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, Dash, I like the fact that they're attempting to use this jet in such a proactive way. So far, not working for too much. But hey, you gotta try it. They have some ultimates available from the shadows to give them some space, but now CNED's thrown in a little ultimate of his own. The Empress just looking to style on his opposition. His teammate will find one, a second for Starzo as well, but it's another round where CNED is getting greater. Got the dash to escape and just about gets away with it, adding another to the tally. And Dirk are giving them something here. It's going to be the trade. Killers actually gets away with a kill after a boombot and a showstopper go off in his face at the same time. you got to respect it. I think he was being shot from heaven, puts, too. <laughs> it still puts them a man down. He stops anybody from peeking the flash blinds. Nobody. Magnum. Oh, he's about to be ulted on, and he knows it's Starzo. Good for the kill. The trade is there. The rolling thunder going to be executed with Mystic now coming behind, but they're not aware. Bone cold in with the double, and it's all to Mystic. No idea there's a player on his left, and that will be a swift end to his life. Towards the A site, it's time to make a change. CNET under pressure, executed by Boaster. But he quickly meets his end as well. And Starzo doubling, maybe even tripling up on that. Yes, he is. A quick end to the round. Lear just making things so awkward for Dark, and the boom bot comes back! Starzo has got that for free. There's nothing that Durka can do at this stage, but Mystic. Oh, he's played this so well. CNED might just be worth it at this stage. Killing that man could be enough, but he's waiting for the rest of the players. Hiding in the corner will avoid the flash, at least for now, and there's the kill. Time for the spike to be planted. He's waiting for it. Flash is out of heaven. Good shot by Killers. Is he going to keep fighting? No. Backs off now. He's got a teammate, though. They're ready for this. Look. Playing up close, right kill us on the anti flash, but Bone Cold not really ready for that fight to happen just yet. Left. They know Killers was here before, but he keeps on going for three, for four maybe. The blind pushes him back, but Mystic alone, Shadows. two players to deal with. Coming out of heaven, that spike now being planted. Oh, he spotted planted. one just about. That's a good position, but they're ready to peek it together. One, but not two. The ranged duels, excuse me. One spotted by the Tiger and Killez quickly taken down. That's an awkward spray. This is starting to look a little bit bad for Ascend. Oh, it's looking very bad now. Seen it on the back of the side all alone and down and out of the round. Fnatic, it just made a retake work with nothing more than the map control for them, but sometimes that's almost worth it. Kill has to fall in trades as Doma pops his own showstopper. But there doesn't seem to be a show going on, at least not one that he can find his way to. Doma, Mystic, both dealt with and leaves it down to Durka to try and make this happen. That shot might have secured the opportunity. The Seeker? Whoa. Oh, why? He knew where he was. Perhaps hoped to actually given up the B side. <gasps> that nade is so good as well. There's two players there. It's chaotic, but it seems to be going a Sen's way. A four versus two, Durka with the blade storm looking for a victim. And he'll need one. He's been spotted as well, though stunned up and dealt with. That's so good by Ascend. Mystic has to make the clutch and look at that. Had no idea the kill as was for now. Maybe more, maybe ten from what you're telling me. Okay. Starting it out, CNET dismissed right out of there. One kill under the belt. They're pursuing him. They are pushing him. The flash. Oh, he's on blind by the time they oh, peek. No. And they're torn apart. Oh god. 5v2, all off the back of CNET. He's caught eventually. It takes a tripwire to deal with him. But that's, uh, I think he's done his job, Tom. Enemy remaining. Yeah, I think three kills around is is fair enough. Like, it's, it's not a bad statistic. 
Durka, well, he might. It's, it's a little bit hard to tell how much is left on the Astra because we can't see the amount of stars. At least a few of them being expended. Magnum's flank, though, makes things non impossible. They'd have to clear him out. Bone Cold actually goes pushing. Maybe wanting to get... Did he have an SMG? He might have just wanted to get rid of the SMG and have the finances to buy up in the next round with a rifle. For the remaining two players, not really counter utility set up and they're gonna go pushing through it's an awkward battle but Durka comes out on top a start that they needed and this leaves a slightly isolated killer so there is a quick flank coming in but he needs at least a kill and he gets it the spectre kill but look at boaster nobody knows that he's there he creeps up behind grabs one kill is still going on the site not able for anything else and two versus three that's fanatic have that mid control still now they have spawn bone cold left to get the 1v3 he's hunting down boaster clearing the angle sees that he's not here and perhaps presumes that he's pushed over now the flank will recommence boaster on his way but not even needed the wolf yeah it is uh very very expensive rolling thunder oh here we go though he's still being pursued the classic has to come out and luckily there's players there to convert it but kill as he has not given up just yet frag after frag goes their way to put boaster alone despite one kill they're stunned and it has to be a fallback time to run away starzo in with a double bone cold almost up for two as well Boaster again finding himself completely isolated Having to do it all. It's going to be spotted out. The peak into spawn is... Yeah, it was like a, a seriously delayed trade on himself, but I think Magnum just used all of the sort of kerfuffle that was going on in the meantime to get a pretty decent flank. Like, you, you can sort of see him going through on the map. The rest of the team all battling, brawling for this position. And in the meantime, I, I, I'm actually just ignoring all the frags going on in the replay and just watching him slowly sneak. Getting him right in there is smoke up towards heaven but it's not there in time seen and able to catch one on the cross a big problem is mystic oh what was that caught in the open pants down completely unaware the spike is in mid and it's gone magnum wants to creep up the rope and he can get here but as the smoke fades there's three players not a chance durka the final hope for fanatic and the all-important pride and seen it well, he thinks it's going to be him. Two kills already to start off the round. That is the B site firmly in their control. The rotation's coming thick and fast from Boaster. But I don't know if he'll be there in time. And in fact, Cned, he's on the hunt. That he is, but it looks like he'll be dealt with at long last. Now we go into a four versus three. Fnatic wanting to come back onto this site. Mystic down means no Viper wall, but it would have been of all too much use anyways. Their positions are strong for the post plans. They've got utility and the shock dart. Well, it makes it through. Doesn't get much done. Durka taken out as is. And play off it? It's huge. We just saw a snake bite be denied by that wall coming up. That's a big loss. Big piece of utility out. Was killed? No, he wasn't spotted. So that's the freest kill of his life. First on the board for him. Coming back into this is going to be tough. You know, they're knifing away at the wall. It's going to take them quite a while. CNET being right-clicked with 21 HP. He survives. Now one away from his old Magnum. Goes down to the snake fight of the attackers early. Like the pre-round or the post-round. Not in the middle. That's a... Really was screwed. It's so annoying. It's a different Rainer this time. A chance for killers to farm up. A few extra stats, and he's even going to ace it out of Oh, Durka, he's just been done by the timing, and then CNED takes him down. That's a frustrating round, a real desk slammer, especially as Killez comes up for more. They are in trouble right now. Ascend overrunning the site. They can't even catch them on the fade back. That wall is perfect, but CNED up above. He's challenged and taken down. Man advantage still for Ascend. The drone does it clear the close left. Can it see the player behind the wall? And no, it won't. This is dangerous now with the Killjoy lurking. Killez could be getting a lot done. They think it's clear, but no. He gets shot in the head by Boaster. Now the post plant utility comes into play. Stop them from defusing for now at least Magnum in an advanced position good for the first Bone Cold still there popping up that poison and stopping them from defusing They just need to buy a little bit more time now. They have to peek but Bone Cold. He's got the kill the snake bite Play oh. as if as, as if sorry uh, Valorant have apparently 
updated everything. Oh no, Starso! They only had weak weapons, but still that position, a sneaky play. He just completely catch. Oh, this man's capable. I'm gonna pop the poison orb in the snake bite left. early. Allow them to get that rotate on. Magnum yeah. takes down Killers with A now clear. All they have to do is keep this B plant from happening, but that might not be possible. The utility, very hard to get uh, into position. 15 seconds. They've got to make a move now. The wall's already up, so they should be able to do so. Hunter's Fury comes in to stop any further pushes, secure the plant. Good usage of ultimates here, and Starzo survives that one. They could have spammed him down. If, if he dies, round's over. So I love the Hunter's Fury commitment. So much damage done to Boaster. He's just 20 HP through that smoke, and an ult goes down. Tom, this is a really tough retake now. Like a ascender looking to try and make this as difficult as possible. So much damage already being taken. Magnum down to just one HP and Doma almost fearful to try and end. Turret seen it! What is that? Just a dash straight out to remove ahead of Doma, and he's gonna go pushing back in. However, Mystic has managed to find a couple of kills himself. He's making this one costly. They're doing so much damage, but they don't have time anymore. Even with everything they achieved in this retake, it's still a Timing's gone as bad as it could. Killers manages to bypass the first couple of pieces and already he'll get a double opener. The first couple of picks go in their favor. Boaster, he's sneaking around, but the dash from Cena manages to avoid it. He's got to be careful of Stark, so so many players that can just turn these rounds into the favor of Ascend. And now Mystic is the only one left. A one versus three. He may have his Viper's pit available and a snake bite to try and force them out and sure the counter Viper is already dead is he going to expect this close angle though no Starzo once it will be big but it's way bigger when you've got the likes of these players still alive on the Viper this oh. is just desolate by the way full by round for anyone wondering Fnatic have lost three opening duels in the space of a couple of seconds and okay yeah <laughs> and that is a record you can find it they're just on the opposite side of a wall to each other. Boaster, <gasps> great position. This could be the difference maker. This could be what wins it for Fnatic. If no. he can get away with more than one, we saw Element from this position before. And Boaster, he's delivering three kills. It's Seenan, and Seenan falls to Fnatic. Up and let him die. Seenan again on the miss. He's changed his sensitivity. Something's happened. Hit his keyboard. Man advantage comes back and CNED, well, he's put a sense back because look at this, <laughs> tapping heads, looking for more, and he's going to swing out on the catwalk, bop, bop, and you're dead! Oh my god, man! 10 to 1, they're already dead, would you leave them alone? Bad from a couple of the defenders, but only a pistol in play, and they know there's a man in this corner now. Bone Cold will be the first to open things up, and then just a bait coming out, Mystic though picks up two! Unreal shots off the back of the Sheriff, he's given his team a hope. A chance, Tom, indeed. Three players left to deal with Bone Cold, Starzo, and Gorda Menta. But this is not going to be an easy round. The showstopper, not showstopper, sorry, Hunter's Fury. I don't know where that one was coming from. <laughs> it's not even on the game. Bone Cold's the first to open it up. Starzo with another. Durka who evaded that Hunter's Fury now. Buying time for his teammate's flank. Making a distraction play. Almost taking Bone Cold with him. And now Magnum's got to make it work. They want two rounds. Oh, that ultimate makes it so much harder. He's going to step inside, but starting to decay. It's time to make the play. There it is. Bone Cold dealt with. One more to go. Has the right idea, but Starzo in time checks the angle. 11 to... King terrifying. Already Bone Cold at the start that they were looking for. Still working with that frenzy, but there is a trade. Killers still on this A site. And now you have to worry about the flank already coming thick and fast from C-Ned. He has them locked in. This guy seems to be bulletproof. He's just managed to dodge a couple of shots from Magnum. The swing there, not quite going to land. Magnum getting a few of those shots to the good. And for Fnatic, they want to pull back a kill. They want to get their advantage back, but it looks like that might not be happening. Killers healed back up to 150 yet again as CNET is still toying with Magnum towards the spawn. He wants to finish this engagement, but CNET just keeps running away. He doesn't want to take the fight till his teammates here. The first is for him. A, one, a 360 from Starzo. It's a 720 kill in the pistol round. 12 to 1. That was, that was a 1080. That was a 1080. He did the, he did the full thing. <laughs>
<laughs> God almighty. He's doing it in HD 1080p. That he's just ruined them. And while well, it's the last ditch effort from Fnatic. They've invested into this round. Well, they have to. They're not going to be taking this one with the pistols. It's a flag oh! across from Magnum. Boom! Cold! Just sending them home. They've managed to find two in response. A slight fight back and a heal for Boaster to bring him back from the fray. They do still have plenty left that they need to do. CNED already with the pre-fire onto one and it's left onto Doma. The saving grace of this squad will not be able to do it. It is CNED to fulfill the sheer domination of Ascend. They 